What's going on everybody? New Silver Stacker here and thank you so much for tuning into a new video. Guys, today we are going to talk about constitutional silver, aka junk silver. And I'm sure many of you have heard the phrase constitutional is king. But why is constitutional king? Why is constitutional silver so great? Now, for those of you who are just new to stacking or haven't even started yet, uh, constitutional silver, it's pretty simple. All it is is uh, silver that used to be coins in America. So basically anything from 1964 and below, mostly 90% silver. As you can see, all these are United States coins. And yeah, constitutional silver, that's about it. So anyways, why is constitutional king though? What, what makes it the king? Well, I got a little list of a few things and I'll go in a little bit more detail into it. Um, but you know, I, I was really interested in making this video because you know why what makes 90 percent silver better than pure silver why why what possible reason could it have to be better than this well let's find out so the first reason is it's easy to verify right so um there's many things uh that you can do to verify silver um, like, let's say, you know, if you, if you have one of these nice ping testers, which if you don't have one, you can get one in the link in my description. Basically, you can ping test it. If it makes that nice ring, then you know it's legit. Now, if it's fake, it's going to make a completely different noise, right? Super easy to test. Um, you know, you, you can test it. Uh, with, with, with magnets, uh, if it sticks, it's not real. Silver doesn't stick to magnets. And um, also, a really big indicator on why it's easy to verify is just pick it up and look at it. So let's see, 1955, like I said at the first of this video, silver is 1964 and below. See, that's 1964. This is the last year that they made silver dimes last year that they made silver quarters and um after 1964 they only made silver in half dollars but it's only 40 percent all this is 90 percent so if it's 1964 and uh before it's 90 percent silver so first thing you do check out the date 1955 we're good next thing you do is look at the edge okay you know, I mean, if, if the date's good, it's usually good. Uh, but another big thing you can do is just look at the edges. See how it's all the same color. It's all silver. Well, let's take a look at some uh, modern change and see what's so different. Here we are. All right. So let me hold up. I have two sets. So see how you can see the copper. But this one is just all the same color, all silver. So these are obviously not silver because you can see the copper. These are copper clad. So these are not real silver. Um, so super easy to verify. You know, just look at the date, look at the side, just look at the coin. It's pretty easy to tell. Um, I don't know the numbers, but I have a feeling that these uh, just 90% silver in general are not commonly faked. At least not the common pieces like the 1964 Roosevelt dime. These are a really good way to buy silver and to know that it's real silver. Um, because you got to think about it. First off, it's a big time felony if you were to forge a piece of silver like this. Like I could, I could make a fake, you know, I could make a fake silver round and consequences wouldn't be that bad compared to if I were to fake a United States currency, like a coin, a real United States coin. Um, you know, that's big time no-no. So less people are willing to do it. And another thing is, this is a very common date, 1964. This is like one of the most common dates, if not the most common. I'm not sure the numbers on that, but it's really common. And it's one of the most, you know, if you go out and look for silver dimes, this is the one you're going to find the most, 1964 Roosevelt. And uh, with just how much silver's in this and how much it costs, it's not worth it to fake these. Now, there are some coins that will be faked, like key dates, you know, like a Carson City Morgan or any other key dates. Like there are some key date dimes that could be faked because they're worth thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, but like I said, if, if you just look out for the right dates, you're fine. 
really easy to verify, okay? So anyways, um, next up, it's fractional. Um, so if, if you ever need to sell, you can sell exactly how much you need. Like let's say I'm buying 10 ounce or 100 ounce silver bars or even five ounces. You know, in order to get, if I only stack 10 ounce bars, I'm gonna have to sell at least a big bar, which is gonna be what, like $260 at least? Um, so I'm gonna have to get rid of a whole huge chunk of it. And what if I only need 100 bucks? Well, yeah, you're, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sell the whole thing either way because you can't just cut it up. I mean, you could, but that would you know take away some value to it. See, now with this, um, each silver dime is worth about about two dollars, right? So I can get down right to the dollar almost. You know, I could do some half dollars, some dimes, some quarters, and get the exact amount I need to sell and sell it. And another thing that goes along with it being uh, fractional is you know let's say some disaster happened right um, and people happen to be accepting silver and gold uh, for goods and services well you're not going to be wanting you're not going to want to carry around you know uh, freaking 10 ounce bars or even silver rounds especially from other countries and I'm talking to the Americans right now um, you know people are going to be more willing to accept these because everyone knows what these is or what they are. Um, even if they don't know the silver content, they know it's a real United States coin. They know 1964 and below is silver, right? So pretty easy to tell. And plus, this, these are approximately, uh, are silver coins and round, just general in general. They're, they cost about 26 to $30, right? However, if I use a dime, it's worth about two bucks, so I can trade it for some milk or something. Uh, this is worth about five dollars, so you know I can trade it for some gas, whatever. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot break these into pieces. I mean, I could, but that would involve some work and a big loss of silver, probably. So really easy uh, to spend if you ever had to, because they're fractional. They're and like I said in the last tip, easily verifiable and not as commonly forged. If an end of the world situation comes, these are gonna be a great way to barter as long as people are willing to accept them. Um, but yeah, so these are gonna be a lot better for barter than silver rounds are, pure silver rounds. Okay, next up, low premium. It's got a pretty good, it's got a pretty low premium to be honest with you. I don't know, I don't know how much the premium has changed in recent years because I just started stacking about eight months ago. Time flies, but anyways, um, right now you can get about a dollar's face, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, a dollar face. Got four quarters, that equals a dollar. 10 dimes, that equals a dollar. Two half dollars, a dollar. So for every dollar of coins, they cost $19 per dollar face. And um, for every ounce, I think, uh, sorry, I'm not gonna go to that. Uh, anyways, uh, for every ounce, you're gonna pay about $26 per ounce, depending on where you get it. And uh, how you calculate an ounce, it's just basically a $1.40 face. So right there, I have an ounce of silver. We got $1.40. So pretty simple. Um, $26, I know some generics right now are about $25 to $26. Uh, they may have gone down to 24, I'm not sure. But, but you know what I'm saying, it, it's generally pretty low premium. Uh, so it's so it's a lot easier for people to buy them. And if you don't have all the money, or if you don't have the most money to spend every month on silver, you know you can really uh, uh, dial down into exactly how much you want. Like let's say you've only got fifty dollars to spend. Okay, well you can buy twenty dollars and quarters, and then you can buy um, a, a dollar or sorry a dollar and quarters, a dollar in dimes, and then maybe you can buy like a half dollar or something like that, right? Uh, with, with silver rounds, you know, if you could probably get about, let's say, almost two ounces. You might, if, if you get a low premium enough thing, you could get two ounces. Um, but the point is, if you don't have the most money, like if you really don't have much money at all, you know, you could buy like a quarter and a dime. At least, at least you're buying something, right? Uh, so it's like I said, fractional. If you if you were to buy fractional pure silver, it's going to have a lot higher of a premium. Now. Uh, these are technically fractional. Oh, no, they are fractional. And these don't carry a larger premium than a quarter or a half dollar. But when you go to pure silver, once you cut it in half, the premium goes up. Once you cut it in a quarters, the premium goes up. So 
If you, so as far as as far as buying for fractional use goes, these are by far the cheapest. So anyway, that's all the main reasons why constitutional is king. Constitutional is awesome. Many good things to it, like I mentioned in the video. Comment down below uh, what reason or comment down below why you think constitutional is king. If if the, if you if you have anything in mind. Uh, that I didn't mention of why it's so great, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of Constitutional. Um, another thing I'm probably going to be doing, I'm definitely going to be doing, is focusing a lot more on Constitutional. Now, I've said that many times, and I haven't done it, but I took a little bit of a break from buying silver for the last few weeks. Um, but now that we're getting back into it, I'm going to be going for a lot of Constitutional. You know, I believe that this stuff is getting, this stuff has been and is still getting melted down in large quantities. Now, um, luckily, there's still enough in the in, in the U.S. and the world that it's not a super high premium. It's still pretty freaking low. Um, but what I'm worried about is in 10, 20, 50 years, I don't know where the premium is going to sit because people are going to either be hoarding it or a lot of it's going to be melted. Maybe, I don't know, that's all speculation, you know. Uh, I don't know how much, I don't know how much out of all that was mentioned, I don't know how much is left in the world. Who knows? That's anybody's guess. No, no one knows, I'm sure. Um, but I think these may be going up in value. Uh, Morgan dollars right here already have a high premium. Uh, but I think these are definitely going to be going up as well as time goes. I mean, they definitely will, but uh, especially when they become more and more rare, if they become more and more rare, well, they will at some point. It's just going to keep going up. So, yeah, um, definitely, I still say buy pure silver, but make sure you have a good amount of constitutional. It's It has many uses. It's great to stack, just awesome overall. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on this. i got to finish my tube of Morgans. I'm, I'm halfway there. Um, I, I filled up two, or I filled up about one and three-fourths of dime tubes and then i'm about halfway or more than halfway for my uh, half dollars i've got some 40 percent right here man i love 40 percent. i know a lot of you guys don't like it i'm going to be making another video about why 40 percent is so great and maybe we'll have a special guest who knows stay tuned for that though um but anyways that is all for today uh, guys especially new stackers Check out my video that I'm going to post down in the description. It's called Seven Tips for New Silver Stackers. It's a very important video for all for all, for those of you who are just starting stacking or maybe you've been stacking for a year. Um, very important lessons. You will not want to miss that video. Uh, luckily, I learned a lot of these tips, so I avoided a lot of mistakes. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone, have a great day.